Hello everyone, welcome back to another video on the JBN Millie channel. I am JB and today I'm going to be giving you guys a bit of an update on a video that we put out yesterday. So we recently had the pleasure of interviewing Mary J. Hoffman who was the lead character designer for Trick or Treat Scooby Doo. And in a clip that we put out, it unfortunately does highlight the fact that she and I guess quote unquote the whole crew from Trick or Treat Scooby Doo were actually hired on to do two Halloween specials. But of course Trick or Treat came out this year. There was going to be an unnamed Halloween special coming out in Scooptober 2023. But that was unfortunately cancelled as with Scoop Holiday Horn. So there is some hope because I'll try and put up as many visuals as I can on the screen. It was pointed out to us by the um, Instagram account Scooby Doo Italia. They reminded us of this kind of situation that Cole Rothacker actually commented on one of Tony Savone's posts about the cancellation of Holiday Horn, saying, I hope it's released one day. We also had a Scooby Doo DTV cancelled that was almost done, so I feel that bittersweetness. And at the time, because of Rothacker's filmography being mostly. DC and superhero related at least from what people were saying I haven't personally found any of that like I've kind of just been going on IMDb and looking at the credits of things but because of that filmography people have been speculating that he was going to be either directing or producing the rumoured Scooby-Doo and Crypto 2 movie and so with that video that we put out yesterday that added up to the toll in a lot of people's minds in terms of Holiday Haunt cancelled, Crypto 2 cancelled, and Unnamed Halloween Special cancelled. But I think there may be some light at the end of this tunnel in that I did do some digging and Cole Rothacker, and by digging I just mean I looked at the movie again, actually does have a credit for Trick or Treat Scooby Doo as assistant production manager. So this can be good, this can be bad. Obviously it's bad that anything's been cancelled, but... It's good in that because he worked on Trick or Treat Scooby-Doo and we know that the crew from Trick or Treat Scooby-Doo was pretty much transferred over to this other Halloween special. It could be that the deleted or cancelled movie that Mary J. Hoffman was talking about in our interview and the one that Cole Rothacker is talking about in Tony Savone's comment section is one in the same which means that we could have that crypto movie saved now of course with Cole Rothacker being assistant production manager I guess it isn't like directing so technically he could do multiple ones I mean a year is a pretty good amount of time and if you look back at maybe the what's new era Joe Sichter he must have produced at least two or three movies every year in terms of getting it out in that cycle like for two movies to come out a year consistently at that point he must have been working on at least two so would it be out of the realm of possibility for Cora Rothacker to be working on Trick or Treat um this deleted movie and Crypto 2 it's possible, of course, but I find it a bit unlikely, especially given that the original release date for the unnamed Halloween special was going to be scooped over this year, like with Trick or Treat. So to get two Halloween specials out for this year and Crypto 2 for, I guess, theoretically the release of the Super Pets, which was in the summer, I don't know, I don't doubt Cole Rothacker's work ethic, but personally i find that a bit hard to believe so it could be that trick or treat sequel or it's not really a sequel trick or treats partner movie is cancelled and that is the one that cole rothacker was referring to and again it only makes sense because we saw cole rothacker I forget when Tony put this post out. It was sometime in the last couple of months. Because that was when Trick or Treat was finished. I think. But. If it was almost done. That wouldn't make sense for the release date. Originally of Crypto 2. Which would theoretically have been done by now. That would have been completed and ready to go. Whereas if they had a bit more time. Because of Holiday Haunt. You know if they knew that before Holiday Haunt was cancelled, they were going to have to push this Halloween special back to next year. 
it makes sense that they would have a bit more time and that the movie may not be done yet. So I'm saying it's more likely than not that Cole Rothacker is referring to that second Halloween movie. So, yeah. It's a shame, of course, we're reinforcing the fact that this second Halloween movie is cancelled, but it is opening the doorway for Scooby-Doo and Crypto 2 to come out sometime, I'm guessing, 2023. Now, this is further emphasised by some very recent, like, kind of breaking news at this point. So, the amazing Instagram account, Scooby underscore news, link in the description, has found some links on Amazon.co.uk, which we did look for personally and we couldn't find. So, whether they've been taken down in haste, I don't know. But, we saw a screenshot of Scooby-Doo and Crypto 2, DVD 2023. Format DVD, currently unavailable. We don't know when or if this item will be back in stock. Not only that, but Scooby-Doo and the Haunted High Rise DVD 2023 currently unavailable. We don't know when or if this item will be back in stock. So not only do we have the possibility that Crypto saved, but also... I would like to think that if these listings had been available before, someone will have discovered it. And if I couldn't find them, of course I'm not some super sleuthing genius, but if they were taken down as soon as they were noticed, that could add to some that could add some credence to the fact that these two movies are coming out next year. So regardless of the fate of, you know, the Halloween specials, Holiday Haunt, we're still going to try and save them. But could we be returning back to format in 2023 with two movies? I assume first Crypto, because we've been hearing about that since, yeah, for ages now. And then this one that we haven't heard of yet, Scooby-Doo on the Haunted High Rise. I think so. I think next year could be another year of two Scooby-Doo movies. Crypto 2 prediction, February. Haunted High Rise prediction, possibly September, October, depending on what the schedule is like. Now, there is, without a doubt, more to discuss about these. I do want to give my initial reactions, because I want to be a bit cautious about what I say, what I don't say, because, of course, speaking to people behind the scenes... It's always possible that we could be speaking out of turn, and I would not want that to, to even be a possibility. And of course, you know, this is the JB and Millie channel. I'm only JB. It would be cool to get Millie's take on both these titles, and we can have a bit of a speculation going. But of course, we would be nothing without the audience that we have here. So I'm going to open this conversation up with people in the comment section. What do you think? Do you think that Cole Rothacker was referring to the Trick or Treat partner film? Or was he referring to Crypto 2? And what do you think about these two Amazon releases? Like, we're relatively new to this scene. And I'd like some Scooby experts that have been in the community for a while to chime in on this conversation. How many times before have we seen Amazon listings go up like this? And how far in advance are they usually? Because this seems very early to for lack of a better word so yeah i'm gonna leave that up to the comment section down below if you do want weekly interviews plus some clips and scooby-doo news please subscribe to this channel we're going to be making daily content and of course huge shout out to scooby-doo italia and scooby news awesome instagram account i'll leave them in the description down below so yeah please like comment and subscribe and we'll see you next time